So in this dynamic, we see something called, uh, you know, a perverse family drama triangle, which is the alienating parent will, will form a coalition with the child as a, against the targeted parent, and then we'll try to gather up the per professional participants to take their side, the alienating parent's side. And um, this frequently develops out of an enmeshed relationship between the alienating parent and the alienated child. And so as soon as, as soon as the alienating parent has got the favor of, of the child on their side, then it's much easier for them to exploit the child in front of a guardian ad litem, in front of a therapist, in front of sometimes when you have investigations that involve allegations of abuse, you'll have law enforcement involved, you'll have CPS workers, child protective services workers. And so these people get involved and embroiled in um, a, what, what amounts to a narrative script that's formulated by the alienating parent in an effort to control the situation. Because typically alienating parents are what we call narcissistically vulnerable. They, they feel very threatened when part of their identity is being diminished within the dissolution of the marriage. So they externalize the blame and project it outward towards the targeted parent. And um, the children get involved in that and they're caught in the middle. So there's an extreme amount of pressure put on the child to, uh, to exhibit loyalty towards the alienating parent. And that same amount of pressure that's put on the child is also then placed on, projected onto the professional participants. So what you end up having is you have, a, uh, uh, in a perverse family drama triangle, you have the identification by the alienating parent as the rescuer and, and the child as a victim of being hurt or harmed in some way by the targeted parent through some either exaggerated or completely fictitious dramatic script. And these are the kind of dramatic scripts that you see normally in, um, in family therapy where somebody is being scapegoated. In a normal healthy triangular situation, triangle and family conflict, it's resolved by someone within the triangle. If you have parent, parent, child, Somebody, the, the blame shifting travels around. Somebody takes it on the chin one day, somebody takes it on the chin the next day, or whatever, and somehow the conflicts are resolved. It's only when it becomes rigid and fixed, where somebody is always being the scapegoat, that it becomes problematic and pathological. So it's referred to in the literature as a, a pathological system. Um, and that's very difficult to identify.